Welcome back to the channel, man. We still trucking in J's. I'm Devin. Nick, I'm back. Hey, man, we're gonna do a quick oil change for y'all today. This is our first time doing it. We're gonna show you step by step. You know, if we mess up something or if we run into something kind of tough, we'll let you know what it was and we'll, we'll get it figured out. We got the uh, 2016 International 4300 with the Cummins 6.7 liter um, ISB. So you need four, four gallons of oil for this. You got two fuel filters, one oil filter. We got our ratchets, funnel, and we're gonna we're gonna go from here. We're gonna show you as we go what we need to what we need to do. Those are the two fuel filters up here, oil filter down low. We'll get you some footage, man, so you can try to do it yourself. See if we can all save some money on these oil chains. We we'll get back with you in a minute. All right, y'all. In the front of the truck, you wanna come down, and then you can see that's your oil pan right here, right here. And you're going to use a half inch ratchet to loosen that up, all right? And then once you do that, oil start dripping down. I get you some footage once I loosen it up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and break that loose. Loosen that up. Watch out for the oil come down. I should have on glove, but... Right, also, you want to make sure you kind of... Be careful with this because we I just got back off a of load, so it's gonna be kind of warm, so just be careful. He say warm might be hot. <laughs> Get back. We're gonna see you in just a second. Y'all see he switched wedding rings on. This is this is work wedding rings. Yeah, this is my work one. Boy, see, I'm scared, bro. <laughs> let's see if we can do this without making a mess. Uh, yeah, push back some here ready. Uh, here we go. How big the screw is. Here we go. That's perfect. I show how long that is. See, yeah, that ain't too long, so we're gonna we're gonna clean that up real quick. Make sure there ain't no metal on it. We're gonna let that drain, and while it's doing that, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the fuel filters. All right, man, so change of plans. We're gonna go ahead and finish up down here while we while we're here. So I went ahead and cleaned up the oil drain, oil, oil pan plug. Didn't see any metal or nothing, so that's good. Um, it's still dripping a little bit, but you'll be here all day if you try to wait on that. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll do a quick wipe like that. Clean them up with this right here. Make sure you're not cross-threaded. You don't wanna, you wanna make sure you tighten it by hand first so you don't cross-thread it. Go as tight as you can with your hand first. I'm go ahead and clean that up. Now we'll tighten it. I'm already right. Sweep that. Make sure I don't over tighten it. Just snug, just snug. That's good right there. But I always double check, you know me. Yep. All right, next. Let me show you where the oil filter is. It's right. Hold on. Can you see it? Uh, this way? Oh, there you go, right there, y'all, right in front of my face. That white piece right there. Dev, can you reach your hand in there and show them? Right there. Can you see it? Right there. Yep. And now, what we're gonna do, I seen this on a YouTube video. Where they um they use a punch like this and a hammer and they punched it and let the oil drip out so it don't be everywhere when they uh trying to loosen it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and we we'll be back in a minute. All right, yo, my bad. Change of plans. I tried to punch it, but um I couldn't get a, the right position on it, so I'm just gonna unscrew it. Unscrew. My bad. The oil about to be all down my arm. I'm okay with that. Dang. This about to be messy. Wasn't too bad. I don't see no 
<laughs> For real. <laughs> hey, so man. Alright, cool. So this is in there? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna uh pour that out and we're gonna get the new filter. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, of course I'm gonna show you me lubing it up and we'll go from there. Alright, so this is the new oil filter. We'll go ahead and get some of this fresh oil. in a little bit right there. Make sure I get lube all around that part right there. Make sure you lube it up real nice. Get the three edge too. All right, I'm gonna fill this up with oil. All about right there. Oh man. A little bit more. All right, that should be good. All right. One last check all the way around with the gasket. It make it easier when you change the oil next time. It'll come right on over. Make sure it won't be cracking or nothing like that too with the heat. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in there. Try to see. Gotta find some room to get up in there, y'all. Get it? No, not yet. Y'all make sure y'all do hand touch. Are you getting anything? I can't even see. Let me see. Let me get y'all a better view. All right. Let me hold it right. Yep. All right. Get the oil. Be careful when you bring it out. But I was thinking about something. When you take these um, trucks to the shop, they'll charge about 300, 400 for oil change. But you know what? You can... If you can do it yourself or you can call me. How much you charge? About 300, 400. <laughs> <laughs> All this work. <laughs> All right, man, so we just finished with the oil change, so. So we got, to, we got to dispose of this. Yes, we're gonna dispose of this. And then we're gonna work on the, uh, the fuel filters now. We'll show y'all how we do that in just a sec. All right, y'all, for the fuel filter, what you wanna do is take this, this, uh, Clip off or plug, unplug this, bring it to the side so you don't get nothing on it. And then to release the pressure off of it, you want to turn this to the left. You hear that? I wonder if we unplug it, we can save on fuel or you want to just unplug it now. I mean, twist it off. It say twist and drain. Drain daily. All right, make sure you you got two O rings. That one. And this one, the new one should come with new ones. All right. All right. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to use the, the fuel that's currently in this filter right here, and put it in another one. We're gonna swap that out real quick. All right. So we're gonna try to go ahead and put the diesel from the old one into this new one, and it just wasting all on me. Yeah. Do good. Take, take the diesel that's around them and kind of lubricate the ring a little bit. All right. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on. And then with the small ring, you wanna just put it on the threaded part right here. And push it up to the top. All right. Check the bottom of that to make sure it's, yeah. Let me see. I'm gonna twist that to make sure it's closed. Yeah, just wanna take your time, make sure you ain't forcing it on there, just Nice and easy. So we're gonna work on this other one right here and we'll and we'll Point. show you get the plug and plug that back up. Push it up to the snap. Alright y'all, what you want to do with this filter, you want to uh, use clean engine oil to lube the gaskets around and the inner, don't put none in there. Okay, do not put engine oil in the fuel filter. Okay, just use oil in the um, the gaskets. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> then put that back then you put the pre-fill cap right there on, and once you get the, we really need some clean. You need to get some clean diesel. Man. All right, so we already lubed up the the um, O-rings, so now we want to put this cap back on it before we put some diesel around the outside. So we put the um, fuel cap back on. To protect, to protect it, to make sure we ain't pouring nothing down in the filter. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna need both hands, and then we'll um, show you how we put this one on. All right, so we're gonna loosen that up right there. We're gonna use a, um, an instruction say a 25 millimeter, but um, the store didn't have it, so we had to get a one inch. That's about the same. It'll work. All right, if you got a one inch short socket. All right. Once you get loose enough, you can take that off. Then you can do the rest with your hand. Okay, so when you turn the socket, it's turning the whole the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take that off. And we'll replace the other one and we'll let you know. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one back on. Make sure you remember to lube it up and fill it up with diesel. Today. Uh. All right, so as you can see, we got both filters in place now. Got them nice and cleaned up, nice and tight. And at the top, my bad, I already took it off being fast. Here, to, 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 to the top off, but we're gonna go ahead and put it in. 
It's four gallons. Four gallons of oil. We got 15 W40. Triple protection. Triple protection. What, what that mean? You gonna see oil. And, uh, and then if you're not sure, when you uh, go buy your oil, with all you need, I went in and just told them um, I want everything you need to change the oil and the fuel filters. And he uh, gave me everything I need. He put it up by the VIN number. And um, he gave me everything I need. So, and it's literally like it's exactly at uh, four gallons. So, we're good to go. That's what we took out of it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fill this up. We're going to bore you to death with pouring all of it in here. And we might make a mess while we're doing it anyway. So, we're going to um, show you the crank up after we finish. All right, so we got all the oil back in. We checked that the fluid level looked good. So we're gonna go ahead and um, turn the key off and back on a couple of times, let it prime for the fuel. And then we'll try to crank it up and see if we, see if we did it right. You were trying to get in there. All right. Success. We're gonna let it run for a little bit. We're gonna check the oil again. And that's gonna be it for this video, but I'm gonna check back in with you. Right after we check the fluid again. All right, man, so that's going to be the end of the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you turn the notification bell on. Go ahead and follow along with us. This, that's how you change the oil on a 2016 International 4300 with a 6.7 liter Cummins engine. If you got any questions or anything that you want to add, um, just let us know down in the comments. What you guys say, Nick? And let me know, and I can do it for $300, $400. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got you. All right, man, we'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.